Hello, this is Lance Bud Brother. Uh, this is the second uh, video of a of a two, maybe three part series on the farm here in Mindanao. We talked before about transformers and uh, building a bridge. Uh, and I'm not sure if I said how much it cost. Bud asked me to, to try to keep in mind uh, the cost of things here. Uh, the bridge costs between, uh, say, 100 and a 25,000 to 200,000 to build. Now, keep in mind, this is a 10 ton bridge. Uh, we wanted access to all the property uh, with a dump truck, and, and it's paid off. We've had a, a situation over here where uh, we needed a tractor to come down to the lowland to disc up a couple of hectares and uh, it was quite a drop off so we had to call in uh, a few dump trucks full of dirt to have it dumped down and smooth it off and the tractor could go down the ramp. So anyway, uh, I would expect uh, dump trucks to come in and to buy and buy so we have that available because of the bridge primarily because of the bridge so substantial. Um, the other thing is the uh, transformer. The transformer costs, uh, counting part, the transformer is just one part. You gotta buy all the fittings and everything, the wires, and then at the contractor comes out and installs it. And it's kind of a three-step operation. And uh, so it's about 200,000 to put that in. You got good power. Uh, like I said, you got uh, 100 amps off of a 25 uh, kV kW transformer. Okay, now uh, another thing we have here is in our buildings in the Philippines, you have. I'm going to walk behind and zoom in so you can see. We have two basic kind of uh, hollow blocks here. You have the six inch and the four inch. The four inch, uh, they'll make a hundred hollow blocks uh, with, or more, with the bag of cement. The uh, six inch on your left uh, are the ones I made. We, we make our own hollow blocks here. And it's, uh, we make about 35 uh, hollow blocks out of a bag of cement. So ours are more than twice as strong as a four inch. Uh, the disadvantage is you can buy a uh, four inch uh, for about nine, 10 pesos and ours costs us about uh, 35, 40 uh, pesos each to build. So uh, certainly not cheaper to build your own. Okay, so here we're behind the uh, mess hall, as you can see, and uh, here in the Philippines, I just see this over here, uh, we segregate our trash. Everybody in the Philippines is required to segregate their trash. Uh, this is our very first chicken pen that we built, and right now we use it to uh, house uh, our chicks, pizzo as they call them, and our native chickens. Uh, uh, presently, we have uh, 300 chicks, 300 pizzo, that are all, I think they're seven weeks old now. And uh, uh, and they won't, a they won't lay until about 155 days. Uh, but then when they do lay, they lay very small eggs. And... Uh, the first ones they lay are like the size of a ping pong ball. <laughs> so uh, uh, it takes a month or so for them to get up to regulation size eggs. The, uh, the, the, what, what you make out of, a, out of an, selling eggs, uh, you sell them for about six cents uh, each. And you, we sell ours wholesale or sell them trays uh, trays or I think the US calls them flats they're 30 eggs we sell them for 155 uh, 
so you get you make a profit about one peso uh, per day per chicken uh, a chicken doesn't lay a hundred percent of the time um, but you're lucky to get 85 percent so uh, we're working up to a thousand chickens and uh, so a thousand chickens a lot of food a lot of work a lot of building uh, but uh, uh, and you're only talking a thousand pesos a day that's, that's twenty dollars but thirty thousand a month is uh well let me put it this way uh, uh, a blue guard a security guard outside the bank makes six thousand a month so uh makes 60 makes uh, let's see uh, six times 20 uh, and so uh, we make considerably more than the average but considerably less than you would consider in the US okay so uh, part of uh, part of building whether you use hollow block or not you you will use hollow block probably is having your own cement mixer and uh, you get a cement mixer for about uh, about a thousand dollars but when you get a cement mixer over here, you don't get the engine with it. Uh, right here we have our uh, uh, storage shed that stows uh, grass cutters, uh, tools, uh, shovels, that kind of thing. Over here we're building a new uh, chicken house. Uh, Still under construction, of course, and that green one over there is uh, is uh, phase two. This is being phase three. This winds up being three separate chicken houses that'll hold uh, between 250 and 300 chickens. So, uh, and so this costs this this building right here. I'm gonna walk around so you can see the whole thing. This building right here will cost. Uh, about 350,000 pesos by the time it's done. So, across there you can see the chickens that we have already. We have a couple hundred. And uh, uh, we get a lot of eggs, but uh, like last film, you could see that by 10 o'clock in the morning, we're sold out. Okay. This is the house we built. Before we had a compound, and we were kind of closed off from the neighborhood, and uh, and uh, although it had privacy, but uh, you know we weren't part of the we weren't part of the people here. You can see this one's uh, uh, pretty close to the road, and we sit out here every morning and have our coffee, and and my boontog labai. We talk to people as we go by, so we've got the, we're part of the neighborhood now. People know us, and we know them. So anyway, this is the house. We'll go inside and I'll show you the air conditioning units. The whole house is air conditioned. So, uh, because I'm a big baby. But we also built uh, a little mini store here on the side. So, uh, let's walk in here. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the mini store. So my lens is fogging up. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got CCTV already, and uh, uh, we're going to start loading this as soon as we get the. Uh, profit from our uh, commodity. I'll we'll talk about that later. But uh, you know, you could just dump money into these, one of these places. There, there'd be no end to it. Uh, but we're trying to let the farm pay for itself to some extent. The farm is never going to totally pay for itself. Uh, so, how much does the farm cost? Uh, and I'm talking about per month. How much are you talking about having to subsidize the farm? Well, our farm makes some money, and uh, 
we'll talk about we'll talk about that later. Uh, over here is something to behold. Those are stalactites and stalagmites, and my wife Chan has got it all lit up at night on these solar-powered little fairy lights and everything. And uh, oftentimes in the evening, people come out here and <laughs> take photographs of it. Uh, but it's uh, it's a septic tank. <laughs> so we've got one of the nicest septic tanks in Caraga. So anyway, let's see what we got right here. We've got, this is our uh, water system, and I'll take photographs of that. And this is our uh, uh, mess hall. I'll take photographs of that. And over here, the double doors is the storage room, and I'll take photographs of that. Uh, you can, we have two storage rooms, which I'll show, but you can never have too much storage. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the inside of the mess hall right here. And uh, normally have lots of eggs, several trays. Uh, darling! This is my, my beautiful wife, Chan. What happened to all the eggs? Uh, sold out. Sold out of the eggs already? Delivered already. Delivered already today? Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, Chan and Nini take care of that. They're Dodong, one of our helpers, and this is the, this is the kitchen. So we can seat and feed 20 in here when we do it. Okay, that's that.